All right, music fans, welcome back. Harmless me here talking real music in real time for a few real people out there just like you there and me right here. Please subscribe to the channel. We need to upset the algorithm, like the video. Even if you don't like the video, can you like the video? Just, just that'll be your charitable work for the year. Um, before I get going on this video, talking about Winger, uh, and I don't usually talk about Winger, so I figured, hey, why not? Um, this band here, if you like Winger, you might like Decoy. Decoy is a hard rock band, a classic rock sounding band. Uh, this comes to us courtesy of Paris Records. This is their album, Without Warning. Uh, a little dark in places. I think if you like maybe Ronnie James Dio, you might like Decoy. In any event, uh, it's good stuff, and I really appreciate the record label. Uh, they send it to me. They actually send me the CD, um, and you'd be surprised. You ask the record label, hey, I'm going to give you a plug during a video. Well, we can't send out the CD. Sorry, it's just beyond our budget right now and the postage. And Yeah, but you're going to get exposure on multiple videos. Anyway, um, that's another video to do. Let's get over to um, Winger, who have a new song out. Now, before I talk about Winger, Winger is the most misunderstood hard rock band, classic rock, uh, metal band, however you want to describe Winger. They are the most maligned uh, band, or at least they used to be. I think Metallica used to make fun of Winger. Uh, television shows. I think Beavis and Butthead at one point made fun of Winger. Look, um, when Winger broke big, uh, yeah, you had Kip Winger out there, kind of a pretty boy at the time. Now he looks like somebody who just crawled out of a, a Mad Max movie. Um, <laughs> they've all aged well. And by the way, Winger, you've got Red Beach playing guitar. So everybody who's really excited about the new extreme stuff, which, okay, um, it's good. I didn't like the first song all that much. I kind of like the second song um, more. But everybody is saying, oh, the shredding, the shredding. Hey, Winger, you got Red Beach and John Roth playing guitar. So go back to the 90s, though. If you want to hear a classic album that missed because the industry had decided to move away from bands like Winger, uh, their album, which is entitled Pull from, I think it was 92, 93, which was literally the worst time to release an album if you were Firehouse or Winger or whoever. You know, you're just starting to, danger, danger. You're starting to break big and then uh, you're all done. You're all done because uh, we're playing Soundgarden now. Sorry, eh, that's too bad. Yeah, Pearl Jam has taken over. Hey, if you're not Nirvana, you're not on the radio, right? But Pull is a masterpiece. And it's not what you think. This band is not what you think. So the reason I'm talking about this now is because they just released a song. And uh, this is the second single from their uh, forthcoming album entitled Seven. And there's a video that goes along with the song Tears of Blood. Holy crap, Batman. I mean, look, if you want to realign yourself as to what Winger is, um, go watch the video for Tears of Blood. Kip Winger, by the way, again, kind of looks, you know, like uh, an aged Mel Gibson or something. But um, again, if you're looking for that um, bubblegum metal stuff that was happening when Winger first came out, and they were really never in that category. Yeah, they had a couple of power ballads, but they also had these real complicated songs like Headed for a Heartbreak uh, and some great vocals and some great guitar work. And, um, you know, it's all here again, um, but this is a little edgier, a little darker and shame on mainstream rock radio stations for not even considering this. Now I know you got five finger death punch on the playlist and then you got winger. Someone's going to be like, no, 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 you can't put winger next to that band. You just can't do it. But there is a huge resurgence in this type of music. <laughs> the reason is basically it's a populist uprising. 
The people want to hear it. The video right now has 204,000 views and climbing rapidly. It came out five days ago. Tears of Blood by Winger. It is, it's totally amazing. It's just a great song. Um, <laughs> and you know what? If, if you're thinking, oh, well, you know, my friends are like, you know, the dark music where everybody sounds, you know, every vocalist sings like, you know, Cookie Monster or Lurch or whoever you want to put in there as a, as a character for the sound of the vocals. Um, I can't see them listening to this and going, oh, that's wimpy or oh, that's cheesy. You know, this is what you always hear. Well, I mean, I do. I admittedly, I like the cheesy stuff. When I hear this, though, I go credibility. It's it's it's, you know, right there. And people should be checking it out. So it's doing well. It, look, Winger is a name brand when you have Reb Beach out there and you have John Roth. Um, you've got guitar power like nobody's business and Kip Winger, really a great composer, really a smart guy, really a great underrated vocalist and just check it out. All right. Tears of blood. And then if you haven't listened to pull by winger back in the early to mid nineties, 92, 93, in that time frame, it's a classic. It's a total classic, probably their best album. And of course the industry had moved on those record labels. You know what? There are a few good record labels still out there. These guys, Paris, and they're from Texas. That's the record label. The band's called Decoy. The album, Without Warning, check it out. And uh, I don't think you'll be disappointed. You can stream this if you don't want to purchase a copy. But if you do, I believe they have physical copies for sale. I believe. Either that or they just gave me one, and then they stopped making them after that. So... <laughs> That's pretty cool if I have, uh, you know, something that's rare and uh, valuable. Anyway, folks, again, if you can help me break the algorithm here, I need you to like the videos, share the videos, um, subscribe to the channel. Also, Patreon picked up a patron yesterday. Thank you very much. Um, <laughs> they're coming in very slowly, but at least they're not leaving. I appreciate everybody who is sticking with me. People know what's going on and... Uh, you know, it's um, it's hard to deal with. And it just you wake up and your income drops by another hundred dollars and you're like, oh, OK, I don't know what I'm doing, but apparently it's not what people want me to do, you know, and I'm trying. I'm trying. I just think it's kind of like flying with an elephant on your back or something. But hey, YouTube, if you can help me out a little bit, I'd really appreciate it. <laughs> just free up some of the people that used to watch i mean 67k right and you've got like two or three of those people maybe watching a video two or three out of 67 watching i mean just it doesn't make sense i'll look at other channels with a million subscribers and they'll have 250,000 people watching it and so that's like one out of four <laughs> so if i had one out of four on every video it'd be at least 15, 20,000 uh, views, which would make sense. I mean, even if it's not that high, um, things just need to get a little bit busier, okay? So again, thanks so much for watching, for putting up with me. I appreciate that. Don't forget to check out Winger, Tears of Blood. It's absolutely amazing. See you soon.